Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, starting at verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with trot, with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the, the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord. Jesus Christ, who died with us, died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Amen. All right. So that was, let me see, that was verse 11, 1 through 11. So I just want you to think about the fact that with these being the last days, knowing that changes are coming, knowing that God is about to do some new things and get rid of some old and that God is getting ready to move in some of our lives in ways he has never moved before until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, we need to be sober, which doesn't just mean not drunk. Sober also means we need to be on alert. We need to be paying attention. We need to be watchful and observant. Not in la 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 land. No, we need to be aware. We need to wake up, saints. These are not the days to play. You hear what I'm saying? So find out what God wants you to do for him because there are a lot of souls at stake. Find out how God wants you to live for him because some of you are straddling the fence and you know it. Okay? I'm not going to talk long on this one. But I want you to think. Think with your heart. Think with your mind. Think with your spirit. Understand what the will of the Lord is pertaining to to your life, to your walk with him. Know where he wants you to go, what he wants you to do. Start asking him and abstain from lust. Abstain from the desires that war against his spirit. Abstain from the temptations that draw you away and distract you. Please keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Stay up under the anointing of God. Live holy. Walk in love, peace, joy, faith, kindness. Trust me when I say it'll be good for you at the end. But don't toy or trifle with God's love. That will not be a good thing. God bless you.